anything you say, anything. And I just want to show you one video where the parrot has said something totally illogical according to us. And it has worked. Just see this video, how beautifully the mom speaks, especially. More than the child, observe what the mom says. This is a real story. This week's People magazine profiles a California teenager who does some remarkable things despite his disability. This is something you just might have to see to believe. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone reports. <laughs> In a pillow fight, 14 year old Ben Underwood can dead on shock. When a video game is going, his fingers fly. On his skates, he's fearless. For most teenagers, it's nothing remarkable. But Ben Underwood is blind, totally blind. Hear the clicks? That's how he finds his way around. To walk down the street with Ben is to be amazed at what he can see with his ears. Well, there's a fire hydrant on the side and a car on this side. Like, is that no, that's a chaff can or that hold on, let me see. That's a chaff can. <laughs> yeah, that's a chaff can. Ben was just two years old when cancer claimed his eyes. Both were surgically removed. And he woke up from that surgery and Dan said, Mom, I can't see anymore, I can't see anymore. And I said, you can't lose your eyes, but you got your nose and your ears and your mouth. From that day on, Ben has used his hearing, his touch, his sense of smell to conquer a world of darkness. It's sometimes hard to believe how good Ben is. Just watch the way he deftly steps around a fallen trash can. I don't know how you do that. Somehow, Ben has mastered echolocation. It's the same way dolphins get around, bouncing sound waves to figure out where they are. On a trip to SeaWorld a few weeks ago, Ben found that he and the dolphins share an amazing talent. Alright. Out of the water, it becomes easy to forget that Ben is blind. Now what? How else to justify my pleasure when I put a couple of goals past him? Ah, you thought you're so good. I am good. He is indeed. Ben beat me five to two. <laughs> Playing video games with his brother Isaiah in the assault of noise, Ben can figure out everything that's happening just by listening. How can you even separate the sound? Because I got different voices. Nobody is going to tell him that there is an impossibility for him because there are none. This mom ought to be teaching a course on. You know, how do you raise a kid who can't, who can't see well? Dr. James Rubin says Aquanetta has done exactly the right thing with Ben. Never being overprotective, never putting limits on him. You know, I think the real story here is not, is not his talents, but, but his attitude. And I think attitude is what it's really about. We have to give our kids confidence. We give them pride. Empower him with who he is and be proud of who you are no matter what. <laughs> You can see where Ben gets his extraordinary self-confidence. There's nothing that you can do, I can't do better. <laughs> and that's the attitude, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want to give him. Watching him in action, it seems clear that Ben really can do anything. <laughs> For The Early Show, John Blackstone, see you. What a beautiful one. So since it's kind of good. So beautiful, the first one. The confidence of the mother. See, Swami is not teaching us uh, to make these kids topper or become you know, a good in artist and all these things. He wants us to go beyond, use our full brain. And the possibility is there. That's where he wants to do parenting. He is not into the regular parenting. You would have read so many books of parenting. But what all he says, first thing he says, parent is a virus. And what all we do is wrong thing. So his complete dimension is different, but actually everything works. When he said that ears can see and your eyes can breathe, the kids really believe it. Really live it. Not even believe it. Live it. That's what happens between 0 to 7 years. 
what all you have told has become the permanent ideas of their life. So now you are trying to break through what your parents have put. But if the parents have put these things at that point, you would have lived it. And these kids here, especially Swami says, when Montessori teachers know already, it's called sensitive period, first few years. First up to six years is very sensitive, hypnotizing age. You can hypnotize a kid into thinking that is correct. If he is with Saddam Hussein, he'll think Saddam Hussein is God. He will pick a gun and shoot anybody by seven years very correctly, 100% accurately. What he sees, he lives. Anything, hypnotizing age, still seven years. Whatever you drop, it really goes and becomes life. So that age, Ben has been told, you have ears, you have nose. Mom just had an idea. She says, okay, come on, live your life. You can't sit and cry, you don't have eyes. And this guy actually, if you, there's so many videos on YouTube. He does surfing. I don't know how many of you can do surfing here. He does surfing so nicely. He is saying nothing is impossible for me. Everything is a possibility now. By doing one, the brain gains confidence. Like Swami says, one pattern, how you treat, probably the puja said, it's going to be the same thing you treat your life. By seeing how we do puja, he knows everything. The pattern is same everywhere. We don't, our brain has no idea where to install. It will go and do everything the same way. Same thing with kids. One confidence that he has, people have said, Wow, how do you do this? That's all. He has breakthrough to everything. Everything he'll say, it will be possible and he'll make it happen. Because according to people, this is impossible for him to see through his ears. But it has become a possibility. He is a normal child who lost his eyes. Mother should be upset. But what she has done is the amazing thing. Given a kid possibility after possibility that you are a possibility. You can do anything. You don't have to go by the rules of the society or parents. This is what we do in engineers. You are a possibility. Anything is possible for you. Don't limit by seeing us. We are the virus sitting here. Whatever we do is only a virus. The way we sit, the way we drink, the way we walk, everything is installing a conditioned pattern. We are all, as Swami says, we are all set of patterns. So how can you go and tell them? Only thing you say, you are wrong. The first thing you tell your kids is you are wrong. And they are beautiful. Don't get corrupted. When we get upset with our kids, we clearly say, see, this is the pattern which is coming up. This is how I am behaving. My kid will say, how can you getting upset? Wait, wait, I am dealing with the pattern. You don't talk to me right now. I have to go through and come on. Then only you can talk. <laughs> clearly I will defend. Don't talk to me. I am upset. <laughs> if he continues to talk. Because we have to clearly define the space. Tell them you are from a different land. They are in a different land. They do not belong to our land. They are in the beautiful space. See that really worked with the Ishwar. That's what happened. Because when he really focused and he is living like that. We can't do that. Even I thought but I can't do that. I said teacher I could only read the book. But I can't break my hand and show <laughs> Because these people are beyond the idea that we have. Pain is the Swami says the deepest thing. When the asanas that we do in the morning. <laughs> focus on the pain, focus on the pain. <laughs> when the Swami going to say next. <laughs> we are focusing on the next. <laughs> what to do? But focus on the pain. Really kids do that. I go tell the kids. It's painting, focus on it. Confidently there. <laughs> what am I doing? All the asanas in Gurukul, all the mantras, including dance, everything except studies, we have not left it because we have a condition. Everything they teach among themselves. We only play. There is an incredible girl video, yoga. We just show that. Then they start practicing, practicing, practicing for three months and they start doing. Nothing, one shot we show. First engineers when we conducted, we didn't have all these Gurukul kids to do all the performance. So what we did, that Ma, 
uh, Kavya was there. So she did all the asanas, kids just did it. They said, what more? Two days, all asanas over. So she said, okay. She went to, went to YouTube, printed it out and then stuck on the wall and said, please try this. That's how they got trained. The Gurukul kids, the first engineers, that's how it trained. Now they are walking on the hands and anything is a possibility and not their three years. Their 11, 12 years. Anything is a possibility is the first thing you install and tell that is what you have missed. Anything, you are a possibility. They are not going to define a frame. You are a possibility and I am a corrupted possibility. <laughs> I have redefined myself only this much. But you, even 12 years, even 13 years, still they are only acting. They are still very innocent. Very, very <coughs> rarely they get corrupted. Of course, there is a batch which is very difficult. They go into drugs by 14 years. All kind of things. We have such kids come and uh, then Swami does his own process. Like special kids. Why they have taken their special kids? Only Swami knows and he starts working with them. But normally all the other kids, even special kids are conditioned. Notice. All special kids are spoiled by the parents. It becomes very difficult for us to handle. The special kids are not conditioned to be very easy. When special kids are conditioned, they do too much. Any autism? Any work, anybody working with autism? Autistic kids? You work with autism. The parents condition with fear. That's why they know. These Gurukul kids, they don't have fear of pain. Can't hit them or scare them. They say, okay. That's how this uh, Anadashi went and gave a letter to Swamiji about mother. <laughs> what to do? Like you as they teach only 911, first thing they go to school. Here we teach, give a letter to Swamiji. That's all. But first, what can we do? So many kids come and give. Swami this time asked, what all of them want to join Gurukul? I said, they all want to join Swami, but parents? Parents are not ready. And kids told us that. I said, only ask Swamiji, what can I do? They are writing a letter to Swamiji that parents are not allowing them to stay in Gurukul. They know what to do, but parents are not allowing. So many kids. It's too shocking when kids are deciding and the parents, like they are saying they are ready to sacrifice their life, but not for the kids. Because again we are conditioned. See, we have been conditioned that after seven years, we, see if you keep a 30 year old and say, he's small, I have to take care, what will society say? What's wrong with you? But a seven year old you send to Gurukul, they will again say, what's wrong with you? These two are our conditioning. Our societal pressure. We should understand seven year old should not be with us. Even Dasharada, he sent his kid, Rama, for all the training to Gurukul only. Who like cried and did everything after he left when he was big. We do the opposite thing. They go to Gurukul at seven years, we cry. As a seven year old, kids, we do not let them to stay in under a guru to get trained. See, whatever we do, we are installing parents. Then what else to do? The only thing is they have to, Swami says, they have to be in a community. Like those days, at least you used to be a joint family. So they were in a community. Now it's like single parents. One or two parents and they meet for a few hours when they are very angry and upset. That's all happens in reality. So what happens? They only know parents, pain, fear, guilt, everything, compare. See that boy. The minute we see the kids, we only compare with somebody. So what we are installing to compare? See what we are talking every word, we are only putting again and again, reiterating. Fourth thing, they are waiting. From 0 to 14 years, we take to install. They don't get convinced easily, but we don't leave them. If we leave them to Gurukul, they will get uninstalled, no? Antivirus will be there. So we install. We install all the viruses. Completely, again and again, repetition. How this issue has been now into thinking, 
or this Ben has been thinking that this is what life is, then he can see with his ears. Same way we turn this if you are, if somebody says, criticize you, anger. This is the lifestyle. The word, anybody tries to put you down, come on, fight. See, these things they see from everybody and start learning. But we don't break it. We again reiterate. Today, mommy saw. Another three days will be fine. Then fourth day, again we'll reinstall. We'll keep on unconsciously reinstall, reinstall, reinstall the anger. Then why? They will shout at us. They, they never shouted at us when they were two year old. They were so sweet only. When did they start shouting? And also, big thing we do. Teachers and parents, label. Why are you shouting? Oh, this is what shouting is. Okay, ah! They never know the word shouting. How this guy didn't know what is fractured. They don't know what is shouting. We label. Big label. Again, again. He's very shy. He can't do this. He can't do that. Just the opposite of that parent. How she says anything is a possibility. We go on labeling, labeling, labeling. You are this. You are that. You are this. You are that. If you write all these words, when they do IA, you can be helpful at least. Make a good. Because it's this. See, whatever I say, it's not going to be effective. I know. Because this is what I said. It took five years to really come into the space that whatever we do is wrong. Unless you are speaking Swami's word every time you see him or he's around. That can happen only in Gurugul. It's too difficult for us. We have to communicate normally. See, he doesn't want even us to say no, don't and not. How will you teach? Sit down, don't talk. A statement is that. Don't shout, don't talk. So what will he eat? That no, anger, anger. Is the correct? They'll think this is lifestyle. Anger is my lifestyle. That's what they have. It's like so amazing for Swamiji when I say kids are getting angry, parents don't know what to do. He thinks it's like kids are getting heart attack, we don't know what to do. For him, if I say, my kid had a heart attack, how old? He's uh, three and a half. <gasps> like you'll be shocked. How can a three and a half year old have a heart attack? See, I can't even say diabetes. Nowadays kids have that also. I can say heart attack, no, no heart attack, no, okay. No, it's like that for Swamiji. Kids cannot get angry. Kids cannot whine and cry and throw tantrum. All this is latest virus. New. When you tell they have to listen. What do you mean they get angry? He is like so surprised. Because they don't know how to even do that. How they have been taught about that anger is because our intense anger which is inside. Without our consciousness, it has been transferred. It's not we got angry with the kid. We would have got angry with the, you know, even a dog or a milkman or somebody. But it will install. Daddy, clearly we do. Actually in Gurukul, we have the brain bugs. It's going to come out. We are editing it. We have dissected how kids have picked up pattern. Clearly says, my daddy used to shout. And he will get his milk in the morning. So, when my friend started uh, no, coming to me, I got irritated, I shouted, he went off. See, it works. He said, yes, it works. But dangerous thing, she is 10 years old. She's clearly defining how it happens. That's why if you write it down during IA, they can just hand it over to Mamanisha. And she goes, oh, this pattern, okay, ma. Now, we will just give you the answer. At least, that will be helpful. If you are decided to keep the kids at home, Write down all the things you like, dislikes, because that is that IA pattern. Because when they are kids, they will not listen, they are resisting. Whatever parents say, after an age, 10 years, they will try to resist you. But after 20 years, this will only be installed. Whatever, like for example, when I was small, I never used to be on time. My father is time conscious, he is also a teacher. So he is IIT professor. So he makes sure the timing is the most important thing. Mamani Shaskas, you would have surely heard. She's very particular about the time. So, but now I see me actually punctual for everything. I don't want to be punctual. Who said I want to be punctual? 
But after that, you have to go there. I am running. Five minutes only, I have to go there. I am so surprised. It's a good thing he installed. But like this, he has installed so many things. This is what happens. They will not do it now. They are messy, they are this, they are that. All this is only acting. But actual what you have installed will come out. When they are big, then they will say, you are like daddy, like mommy. Ah, this statement, Swami really dislikes. Why do you want to make them dead like daddy and mommy? Label them. You are just like daddy. Because they should not miss one virus now. Everything download correctly. Okay, tick. Oh, this is missed. Make sure it is there. It really, this is what we do. This whole parenting, this is what we do. So we have some terms. I am going to talk about these terms. I want to understand their definition of these words. I have taken the most common words that parents say and the children say also. So first we will do the parent. First one is freedom and independence. What do you understand by freedom for your children and independence for your children? How can you distribute the point? You can say you, what you understand. Because these are the very... See, today I am trying to do the base, a space of a child. Technically that's a, that's a word I want to give. So you understand where they come from. 